It's the Horn at Super Bowl 57 Radio Row here in Phoenix. Stu Myrick anchoring the coverage from Radio Row. It is Wednesday. It's popping. It's happening. All sorts of luminaries, dignitaries, celebrities. That includes my guest this time, former three-time Pro Bowl linebacker, one of the best to play that position. Uh, played for the Chargers, played for the Bills. I might have to ask you a little bit about the Bills. Sean Merriman, and now... He's with MMA. Yeah. You got an MMA promotion. Talk about it. I do. Lights Out Extreme fighting uh, now on Fubo TV, Fubo Sports. Uh, we just had a, a huge fight January 14th in Riverside, California, and we moved into the top 10 uh, most watched on Fubo Sports ever. So that was pretty cool for us. Got a big fight coming up in, um, in April uh, in Los Angeles. But I've been been looking at Texas a lot, man. I'm, I'm looking at you know some spots in San Antonio. Yeah. We'd love to bring a fight down to San Antonio and Dallas. Uh, but Texas is definitely a hotbed for, for a lot of MMA fighters and a lot of fight fans as well. It, it is. And, and MMA has grown so much over the last several years, you know, with UFC and all the different Bellator. And then a lot of the different, uh, you look at uh, things like Extreme Knockout. You look at um, uh, Fury Fighting and, and some of the different ones. Uh, how, what were the challenges of creating your own MMA promotion? Well, I think it's for one, um, you know, being a former athlete, I think that helped me out a lot, right? And, I, and, and selfishly, I get a chance to train with a lot of these guys. That's mm-hmm. why I, you know, stay in shape and stay disciplined. Um, but I think that uh, it's really just a promotion and obviously being on football sports helped out a lot, uh, football TV, because these, uh, these up-and-coming fighters are looking for opportunity to fight and have a, have a chance to, um, to showcase their talent. Because they, believe it or not, there's not a lot of quality production, quality promotions out there that's giving these guys a legitimate shot to go out and showcase their talent. So I've been around the sport for 17 years, even though I was just training during the offseason, launching Lights Out Extreme Fight in 2018. So we're just looking to give these shots and some former athletes that are mm-hmm. transitioning over from, you know, football and rugby and ba- some baseball players are now looking at MMA to transition into Lights Out Extreme Fight. Well, and, and that was kind of the, my next thing because, like, you know, so I'm a pro wrestling guy. So I, and I know you spent time with the Performance Center. In the I WWE did, WWE Performance WWE, Center. Yeah. Um, you know, attracting fighters to your league, uh, and you're talking about you know athletes, whether baseball, football, whatever, to try to transition MMA. The training is there. I I can see that some of the conditioning, but there is a different conditioning. It is to get into a cage and and use those use those skills in a fight. Yeah, no, no question about it. Um, you know, I remember my first day uh, going out and training. It was with Randy Couture. My very first day learning anything with MMA was with Randy Couture. Um, and then the next day I started training, and I, I got taken down by a 185-pound uh, div- mm-hmm. NCAA wrestler. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I could not figure out why the hell I couldn't get up. He was so skilled. He, he was a champion. Um, and then that just made me want to learn more because I wanted to get better with jiu-jitsu. I wanted to get better with the sport. Um, but it's, it's definitely uh, uh, different, but there's some, there's some similarities, yeah. too. You know, uh, football players are some of the most disciplined people on the, co- in, the in the planet um, right. with learning how to uh, go to practice and be on time and, and, and be able to overcome a certain obstacle. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of great transitioning facts there. Okay. Okay, and that makes sense. Um, is doing, doing the you you now have clearance with Fubo TV, and, and there is so much MMA content out there now. UFC it seems like it seems like every three weeks they've got a card on ESPN Plus or whatever, and it feels feels like a lot of fighters might get kind of kind of lost in the shuffle. It's, it's they're kind of muddled in there. Um, what is it about uh, uh, Lights Out Extreme that's going to kind of set itself apart from from other MMA leagues, yeah. One, we, we have a uh, we have a huge amateur card even on the next fight. You know, we have not only pros, but we also have amateur. Um, and my my ability to you know kind of reach a different platform because my platform is really built in the NFL. Yeah. You know, it's the reason why why I'm here. And so we're, we're almost at a different promotion of media as well. So we we, we love the MMA media. We we love having that uh, the MMA junkies of the world and MMA news and all that stuff. We love that. Um, but, you know, being able to be here at the Super Bowl talking about MMA, I mean, that, for me personally, it, that's, I'm, I'm having the best time even being here because there's very few people who can come on Radio Row here and talk to you guys on the biggest platform, which is the NFL in this country, but also mm-hmm. get a chance to talk about Lights Out Extreme Fighting. Okay. All right. How, how do 
folks find out more about Lights Out Sports? Yep, yep. If you uh, check us out on Fubo TV, Fubo Sports. If you don't have Fubo, get it. We got some big announcements coming, uh, and it's going to be exclusively on Fubo. Also, check us out at LightsOutXF.com. Okay, awesome, awesome. Let's talk about Super Bowl Fifty Seven. Um, you know, we keep hearing Eagles Chiefs. This is going to be a battle in the trenches. Yep. The, the lines, um, and we saw when you know the last time Kansas City was in the Super Bowl a couple years ago against Tampa Bay. You know, that seemed prevalent because it seemed like Patrick Holmes was running for his life the entire game. And that's why Tampa Bay, not to mention, you know, some guy named Tam- named Brady yeah. playing quarterback. Yeah. But that, that seemed to be kind of the key as to, as to how Tampa got that win. Um, you know, give me your assessment. Give me your thoughts on this game. And... Maybe a key or two for me for each team. I I went against um, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs last week, yeah. and I did it strictly based off of what I thought the Patrick Mahomes' health was. Yeah. I've had that ankle before, and uh, I remember it was a mild ankle, high ankle sprain, and I was walking around in the booth about a week and a half, yeah. and I could not run on it to two weeks in. That's a that's a two to four week deal, no matter how you look at it. And so what he did last week was nothing short of a miracle. Even in, at the end of the game, we had to ice the game and finish the game off by using his legs and running. I'm going to make that same mistake again this week and 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 go with the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, when you're talking about the Philadelphia Eagles, there's there's not a weak link, a weak spot on that team. We you just talked about the defensive line. There's there hasn't been a defensive line this stacked in in a decade. Because your second string guys is coming off of the bench are also all pros and pro bowlers. I mean, that, that just doesn't happen. So, you know, you always look for a breather if you want to go out first and second down and get your best pass rushing on third down. They don't have to do that. Mm-hmm. They can just rotate in any time that a guy needs a break and you're fresh going to get to an offensive lineman that may be tired and beat down a little bit. So I just I don't see them. Also, the wide receiver matchups with Kansas City and, 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 and the Philadelphia Eagles cornerbacks. No shot at Eli Apple. He is a great super villain of, of the NFL. But they're not going to be able to do that against Darius Slay. Yeah. That's just not going to happen. They don't have a weak link on that other side. So they, they got an uphill battle this week. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's going to be a great game. We know. Yes. I think, you know, and, and the, you know, the betting lines can – I think, I, I think you know, the last I saw it was Philly minus a point and a half. Which, right. You know, that, that tells you. This thing's close. Yeah. This thing, and I got a feeling this thing's going to be close, and it's probably going to be whoever has the ball last, and yeah. who, or who who makes the fewer mistakes. I and mean, that's that's usually there. So I, I get you. He is Sean Merriman, a uh, three-time Pro Bowler, one of the best to ever play linebacker. Likes at lights out extreme fighting. Catch it on Fubo TV, Fubo Sports. Sean, thank you so much, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I can't it. wait to get a fight out there in Texas. Absolutely.